fourth situation. Hey, Joe. Hey, Marnie, it's really notable that you have not just a Democrat, but a Democrat from California calling on Senator Feinstein to resign. We have not seen that yet. Uh, the 89-year-old says that she's not going to resign, but that she's just temporarily going to step back from the all-important Senate Judiciary Committee. And look, what's going on with the 89-year-old right now, she has had this case of shingles. She's been out since early March, and her staff says she was supposed to have come back already and returned to her role here on Capitol Hill, but because of some complications with that diagnosis, she's staying home for a bit longer than they had expected. But it's really uncomfortable situation, Marnie, because she is an absolute fixture here on Capitol Hill, the 89-year-old, not just uh, in Senate Democratic politics, but also specifically on the Judiciary Committee. It's one of the most high-profile committees in Congress. She rose to the chairwoman of that committee for one point. But because the Senate is so closely divided, 51-49, her absence has meant that Democrats have, in many cases, failed to come up with enough votes to move President Biden's judicial nominations forward, meaning judges that would fill open vacancies are not being filled because she is not able to come to work. Now, her office released a statement here that says, in part, quote, I understand my absence could delay the important work of the Judiciary Committee, so I've asked Leader Schumer to ask the Senate to, follow, to allow another Democratic senator to temporarily serve until I'm able to resume my committee work. Now, there have been stories about Dianne Feinstein not being up for the job uh, at this point in her career. She and her office have denied those. They say that she's absolutely capable here. But again, we did get that one call for the first time publicly, and I want to put it up on your screen here. Congressman Ro Khanna from California says here, quote, it's time for Senator Feinstein to resign. We need to put country ahead of personal loyalty. While she had a lifetime of public service, it's obvious she can no longer fulfill her duties. Not speaking out undermines our credibility as elected representatives of the people. Now, she has been serving here in the Senate, Marnie, since 1992. That is 31 years here so far. That is a, a lifetime. And again, I want to reiterate, she and her team both say she has every intention of coming back and serving on the committee. She's just temporarily stepping back right now. Joe, any other members of Congress calling on her to resign or step down? Uh, yeah, there, there are others. So Congressman Ro Khanna stood out because, again, the California connection, the San Francisco area connection, he stood out. But after him, there was another member publicly, Dean Phillips uh, of Minnesota, another Democrat. But I can tell you, speaking of my Democratic sources, there are quite a few people who agree with those positions who feel it is time for her to resign her post at some point if the work of the committee simply cannot get done because of her, her illness. Uh, but they hesitate to come forward publicly. Again, it's a really uncomfortable position for them to be in. I should mention you have others like Speaker Pelosi and a couple of uh, Democrats from California who've, who've defended her and who said they feel it's sexist because no one is calling for any men who are of her age to resign. There's Senator Chuck Grassley from Iowa, also 89 years old, not as many calls for him to step back. Uh, so you have a bit of a dueling uh, thing there. But I can tell you there are some voices that just won't come publicly to say what Rokana and others have said. All right. One to watch. Joe, thank you.